Okay then guys and welcome to um, my first Mega Drive video. Um, I have to apologise for the lighting that there might be because I've, apps, I've got no protection in my shed. There's basically big windows at either end and it lets in a lot of light so um, you may see a bit of a reflection in the mirror. So um, if it's too bad we'll just have to stop doing them. So anyway this was Devil Crash. It's an um, amazing pinball game. There was a predecessor um, I think it's Alien Crush that came out on the PC Engine, which Devil Crash also came out on. And um, but this one made it to the Mega Drive, so let's take a look at it. It's absolutely fantastic. It's by Technosoft, who are um, probably best known for their Thunder Force games, um, three of which came out on the Mega Drive as well. And um, it's great fun. So here we go. And I apologise now for my complete lack of pinball skills. So one of the first things you'll notice about the game is that it has got an absolutely fantastic soundtrack. And it goes on for quite a while before it actually starts looping. So let's see if we can um, um, actually listen to it for a while. So the, basically the idea of the game is that you've got a free, free screen high pinball table and you're just trying to score as many points as possible. Now on the right hand side of the screen there you can see um, a yellow arrow and another one's just popped up. Get into those and you activate a bonus area which will be a, a brand new pinball table. You can shake the table, should you wish. Um, but again, do it too much and you'll um, lose your ball. Absolutely love pinball games. It's um, I'm really pleased that you've got stuff like Zen Pinball and Pinball Arcade now available because um, I don't know. I think I think they share a lot of co lot in common with shoot 'em ups simply because you know it is it is it's all about skill and it's all about score chasing and um, that's one of the things that I really love doing. I used to always beat down Paul Arcade back in the day, um, feed him a twenty p's and ten pences into the latest shooter or pinball game. So um, I think that's part of the reason why I'm so pleased about getting a Mega Drive again because it does it just it's got a lot of easy accessible games. So here's one of the bonus stages I was telling you about. And they've all got different things to do, like on this one you've obviously got to take down the wizards. Ah, oh, straight down the middle, didn't even touch the sides. That's what she said. Okay then, now if we can, um, if we can take out this face in the middle, it takes you to a really amazing bonus stage. I doubt I'm going to do it because I want to try and keep these videos pretty light, simply because um, they take ages to upload. My internet connection is crap at the moment and um, for some reason um, even a five minute video is about one point god knows how many gig. So it takes me, um, it takes me forever. I mean I'm doing this at um, just before one o'clock and we'll, well, we'll see when it goes up. So anyway, the plan is, is that every, every couple of days hopefully I'll um, I'll be showing you videos of the latest games I've got and I'll also be um, obviously showing you actual gameplay videos of the things I've um, picked up. So on this level, the plan here is to basically... Oh, look at that shit. The plan there is to take, take all the um, red dots out. I think, I think there's a bit of roll and scan on this TV as well. Um, so you'll see the pictures rolling, like going up like this every now and then. Um, hopefully it's not too distracting, but um, unfortunately that's like, that's an issue you have with CRTs. And um, while I could lunge all this into the um, front room and put it on my big TV, um, they look shit basically. And I'd rather, I'd rather have it looking as authentic as possible. Part of the reason why I'm, I'm not using emulation for this. So there you go, you give, um, give that head a good scene too. And it'll um, slowly turn into a reptile. Like that. So let's try and um, get up there a few more times. Get the skeleton out of the way. Oh god, I'm so crap. Oh, ah, ah, he says again. So this is how not to play Devil Crash. But um, it is really, really cool. You can, you can typically get it for around the 20 quid mark, if you're lucky. Um, which I think is a pretty, pretty damn good price, really. Um, I've gone for the Japanese version because um, I just prefer the Japanese um, box art. 
but um, you can, the UK one I think is known as Dragon's Fury, I think. There was a sequel as well, um, but yeah, I'm pretty, pretty sure it's Dragon's Fury. So as you can see, I'm really kicking the crap out of the, um, the main guy there, so let's see if we can actually get the bonus stage uh, before I die, because um, the bonus stage is absolutely amazing. I really love the, um, the art style of this as well, it's very Geiger-esque. You've got lots of weird, crazy looking alien type monstrosities, dragons, pulsating skulls, monks at the top. It's just mental. I was really into D&D um, &D back in the day, so this, um, this made a big impact on me. Come on. Oh, nearly lost that. Come on. It can be sometimes quite hard to get yourself up the um, the next leg of the table. Oh, and I've lost it there by um, tilting too much. Oh, and we can go in this one now. Ah, oh, here we go. Let's get back on the top. Nice. So let's see if we can um, we can actually activate old skull face. Come on, dragon. Right. Come on. We just want to go. Oh no! What are you doing to me? Ah, oh, look at that. Ah, oh, just as we got it. So there you go, then I'm just going to um, do the one game as well on these playthroughs. Um, so yeah, Devil Crash. Excellent pinball game. Um, highly recommended. And if you're um, starting up your own Mega Drive collection or you have an existing Mega Drive collection and you don't have this, you're absolutely mad. Get it now. It's fantastic. This is uh, Darren Jones from Retro Gamer Magazine and I'll be back with more videos very, very soon, guys. Take care.